What's up everyone, Manny Pedal here. So today in this video, we're gonna be talking about 10 things that you should know before getting into mountain biking. We're gonna be talking about skills and all the fundamentals of mountain biking. We're gonna be talking about gear, bikes, nutrition, a little bit of everything. So sit back, relax, grab your coffee, grab something to eat, if you will. Um, chillax, <laughs> we're gonna have a good time in this video, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching this video. First off, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell up there. It really helps with the channel. And I would love to share with you more videos about all things cycling, whether it's mountain biking, gravel, and road. Um, as you all know, who've been here for a long time, I am basically a hybrid. I do lots of different types of riding, anywhere from road, to mountain to gravel and um i enjoy all aspects of cycling i do tons of bike packing and touring and um yeah recently i've been doing a lot more mountain biking um i recently moved to uh, the miami area in florida and there's a mountain bike park locally so i've been doing a lot of that and also gravel riding too i've been doing a, a race that i recently did over the weekend and i have another one coming up so yeah um i also done a great deal of bike touring which is very much parallel to mountain biking. I've done lots of uh, riding on off the road. So that involves being in the mountains, whether it's in the West Coast, um, overseas. And I have you know a great deal of experience. So I wanna be able to share as much value with you in terms of getting into the sport. So we're gonna start with number one, and that's skills and fundamentals. Let's do it. In terms of building up skill, that's gonna happen over time. If you know how to ride a bike, you already are uh, a cut above. Being able to stabilize yourself, bicycle handling is the most important part. I definitely recommend starting on a fire road or some sort of rail trail that's gonna be a flat surface. This is gonna help you be able to stabilize yourself a little bit better than being on, say, something like a single track that's gonna be a bit more technical because there might be lots more uh, tight turns and things like that in uh, state forest. I recommend checking out a mountain bike park. At mountain bike parks, you're gonna find lots of different types of trails. There's gonna be novice trails that are green, intermediate trails that are blue, black diamonds that are a little bit more advanced and an expert double black diamonds. Um, you know, the list goes on. Find your local park. If you have a park that has a, a woodsy section or maybe a grass field, take your bike in the grass and just ride in the grass if you can. Hopefully, you know, security doesn't come and, and kick you off the lawn, but try doing something like that. That resistance in the grass is gonna give you a bit more of a bumpy ride than being on a pavement. And that's a, a just a good point of departure when it comes to skills and fundamentals. All right, so let's talk about bikes. So choosing the right bike is super important when it comes to mountain biking. I've ridden a lot of different types of bikes in my time, you know, so I've ridden everything from touring bikes that I've turned into mountain bikes, like my old Surly Long Haul Trucker, which you've all probably seen in videos before, that I took over the Cocapelli Trail um, and transformed it and put like 2.1 tires on it. It was ridiculous. <laughs> um, and there's also full suspension bikes that I've ridden as well. And there's also uh, hardtails. Hardtail is gonna give you a bit more um, ground speed. It's gonna give you a bit more stiffer rear end when it comes to climbing. You have a bit more control and um, the front end still has suspension. So you'll still be able to have that nice plush ride. Uh, full suspension you move into when you want to have a bit more of a plush ride all around. You wanna do a lot more downhill. Um, the great thing about modern day bikes now is that you can have a full suspension bike and lock them out, lock out the shocks in the front and the rear suspension. So that's going to mean uh, once it's locked out, it's going to be a bit more stiff. Um, you have a bit more ground speed control. And when you're on a trail, however, that's going to be highly technical, whether there's like lots of twists and turns, you know, that front suspension is going to come in uh, very well, especially the, the rear suspension too, when there's lots of branches or rocks and roots that are sort of like you know obstacles that are getting in your way that you may need to to get over it's going to be a, a bit more forgiving on a full suspension bike other options too such as gravel bikes while gravel bikes are mountain bikes you could technically uh take them on 
certain situations where the you know the bikes can actually deliver and be able to produce some similar results to a mountain bike however um the mountain bikes you know they're going to be a bit more versatile when it comes to mountain bike situations and terrain so i highly recommend uh investing in a hardtail suspension with the front and a full suspension bike where you would get dual suspension you get the front and the rear uh, which is what I'm riding on right now. So definitely there's benefits to both. Um, if you're just getting started, definitely start with a hardtail front suspension. You know, I think that'll go a long way. If you want, you know, depending on where you live in the world, if you plan on, you know, doing, um, you know, downhill stuff, you you know, you feel like you're somewhat of a, a rider who's already immediate, immediate, you've been riding quite a bit. Um, you have some experience under your belt, then yeah, full suspension all the way. Um, other than that, again, if you're a beginner, then definitely, you know, just start with a hard tail and you work your way into getting a full suspension later down the line. All right, so now we're gonna be talking about clothing. Clothing is all personal preference. Uh, you can go as far as wearing mountain bike shorts and also just a, a light, you know, soccer jersey, if you will, things that you already have, you know, I think that's a good place to start. You can either ride uh, one or two things. You can do mountain biking shorts, uh, which is what I really like to wear, and also uh, just a regular, you know, uh, oversized jersey or something like that. That's you know, with way uh, sweat, and just you know, has uh, sun protection so that you don't overheat or anything. There's also uh, a kit you can wear lycra, which uh, a lot of XC racers do. Those are like cross country mountain bikers. Um, and also racers, you'll see a lot of cyclists, road cyclists who have uh, Lycra on, which are, you know, basically bibs and a jersey that's really uh, form fit into your skin. And uh, they also wick away sweat. And it has a chamois inside that's really comfortable that you can use. And uh, yeah, I think that's like one of my preferred ways of riding as well. Uh, lately, I've been wearing a lot more of uh, my road kits that I would do, that I would wear on my, my road rides, on my mountain bike rides. When it comes to footwear, you can do one of two things. If you have flat pedals, you can wear just regular sneakers. You can also wear specified like mountain biking sneakers as well, which have like a nice harder sole. And sometimes they put nylon inside of there in the shoe or sometimes even carbon. Uh, or you can wear SPD mountain biking shoes, which are these right here. These are my Shimano. RC9s and what they have is cleats underneath that clip into an SPD pedal which is a dedicated mountain biking pedal that you use to lock in and it helps you with uh, delivering more power to the pedals in your riding um, which I uh, prefer to use personally so it's all personal preference uh, wearing SPD shoes are a lot more advanced and you will learn how to clip in and out of them over time. It's not something that you can probably get dialed in right out the gate. Uh, there is a learning curve, so practice makes perfect. So just, if you do plan on investing in SPD shoes, you will have to also get SPD pedals and uh, they pair together and that's gonna help you with delivering more power to the pedal. It's gonna make your pedaling a bit more efficient and I highly recommend them um, later down the line. If you're just a beginner, start off with regular sneakers. You don't need to wear these shoes right here. You start off with regular flat platform pedals and just wear regular sneakers and you should be good to go. No matter if you're riding any bike out there actually, whether it's a road bike, gravel bike, mountain bike, you need to be wearing a mountain biking helmet or a road helmet. Boom. So basically your road helmet is a bit more um, form fitted to you. All right, so basically your road helmet is a little bit different in that it doesn't have as much coverage as a mountain biking helmet does. So you can see on the side panels, uh, the mountain biking helmet goes a little bit deeper down the rear of the helmet, whereas the road helmet does not. This is more so dedicated to racing. I highly recommend you getting the uh, dedicated mountain bike helmet. You get a visor that will protect you from any branches and things like that. And also you get a bit more coverage in the rear of the helmet, it dips down a little bit longer. It covers um, the sides a bit of your, your cranium a little bit better. And also it's all around a bit beefier, I'd say too. Finding a line means just being able to get comfortable and acclimate yourself to a new trail and find a line to 
be able to ride with confidence. What I like to do sometimes if I'm on a trail is I either partner with some friends and just go for a ride together and I chase my friend down the trail, they'll take the front and I'll be behind them, especially if they're more familiar with the trail. And that'll just kind of give me an idea of like how they're riding. So I, I put myself about a bike length behind and I see what lines they're taking when it comes to hitting berms or when it comes to going over technical tabletops, uh, things like that. So, you know, you can do that a little bit easier because you have a guide. It's gonna take some time to get acclimated, but uh, just be patient, give yourself time to just figure it all out. And, you know, once you begin to develop more skills as a mountain bike rider, you'll get more comfortable and you'll be good to go. Nutrition, that is super important. Always stay hydrated, always bring some food with you. What I like to do is a few things. Bring water bottles, whether it's one or two on a mountain bike trail. I always think about how long I'm gonna be on the trail. It's gonna be for a couple of hours. I like to bring two bottles. Uh, you also want to be eating as well. So whether it's um, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, bring rice cakes, or you wanna make sure you get something that has like simple sugars. I like to use Scratch Labs. Um, their hydration packs are super nice. I also like to bring um, Stroop waffles, which are super nice. Gives me a little bit of sugar and also some carbs. Don't forget that. Eat before you're hungry, drink before you're thirsty. The next thing you wanna do is watch YouTube. Go on YouTube, check out XC mountain biking, look at the races, look at single track trails, just completely fall in love with the sport online. If you have access to it, there's so much information you can find on YouTube. Subscribe, obviously, to my channel, because there's also some mountain biking videos that I produce bike touring, there's lots of gravel, you'll see me off road. And also check out other YouTubers as well. There's just so much out there. So definitely recommend YouTube as an outlet for you to discover mountain biking and also just educating yourself around the sport. Something else that you should know about mountain biking is that it's hard, it's hard. You know, I went over like the skills and fundamentals earlier, but you should know that mountain biking is not easy. Riding, it takes it exerts a lot of energy. Bikes can be heavy. You have to pull them up. You have to tuck. Don't let this deter you away from learning how to mountain bike. Just take your time. It's a learning curve. Have fun. Have fun. You want to have that adventure mindset. You want to have an attitude of gratitude when you're going out there. You know, you don't need to look at smashing down a hill or jumping off of like a huge rock. You know, take your time. Enjoy the ride. Get some miles in. So it has so much to offer. It's gonna be giving you things that you've never saw before or never experienced before. So just have an appreciation for that. Have an attitude of gratitude. You're gonna love it. And uh, that's it. So hey, let me know if you have any thoughts. If I miss anything, drop them in the comments. I would love to hear what you all think. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you wanna see more videos. It definitely helps with the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.